Hey my little guinea pigs, let's experiment with my Amiga 2000 today. We will talk about the PC bridge card and how to improve the ISA slots that are actually available from the main motherboard of the Amiga 2000. Let me present you the A2386. This is basically a full size board that contains a 386 PC. Mine has a 386 S6 25 MHz from Intel itself and a math coprocessor from Cyrex. So why is it called a bridge? Because on the left it bridges an Amiga Zero 2 bus towards a standard ISA PC bus. Here you see how it looks like in the Amiga 2000 itself. On the left, the ISA bus that is unused right now, and on the right, the Amiga bus. Now, when you insert the bridge, you see that it connects both sides. In this Amiga, I would like to have a VGA card and a Sound Blaster card. So, if I insert the first card like this, after the bridge card, if I try to insert the second one, hmm, that doesn't work at all. So yeah, we have four slots available. One for the bridge, one for a PC ISA 16-bit card, and then two 8-bit ISA cards. So what am I even talking about? Actually, a 16-bit ISA bus is an 8-bit XT bus plus few more pins. In the part 2 of this series, we will deep dive into this PC ISA bus. But uh, meanwhile, let's see if we can fix my immediate problem. If you look carefully, you see that actually those 16-bit extra pins are available on the Amiga 2000 motherboard, but those cheap Commodore engineers, or I would say management probably, didn't populate them. So I just bought like a very cheap riser, which is basically an interface to extend a, a curve, an existing bus, and I used it to source two 16-bit connectors for the ISA bus. It looks like it should fit. Step one, let's desolder those two connectors. Here I just add some flux to ease the process. Then I use my trusty desoldering iron to desolder the two connectors. Now I need to be able to access to the motherboard, so uh, let's remove everything starting with the drives. You need to remove the screws at the front to remove the mounting bracket. Then the screws holding the power supply at the back of the machine. The power connector. And finally, I remove all the slotted cards.
Oh, and let's not forget the front leads. Okay, after all that, we are finally ready to remove the motherboard. It is held by a lot of screws, so don't forget the middle ones. And here there is a trick. Some screws on the connectors are actually holding the motherboard um, underneath. So don't forget those, those ones. Now we need to remove the RF shield that is underneath the motherboard. For that you need to actually unscrew all the connectors at the back. For this I used a 5mm hex screwdriver. and more connectors to unscrew. Okay, now this RF shield is free. Okay, so now I need to remove those old 8-bit slots. Let's remove this sticker that was on the way. Then, same thing, some flux. 
And then I go on with my desoldering iron. That was a lot of desoldering, so we can remove those connectors now. And let's clean that up because it's all dirty, dirty and crusty be behind those connectors. Same thing on the other side with some IPA or PCB cleaner. Now we can put those brand new 16 bit connectors. and then uh, solder them all. Final flux cleanup. So here I use some PCB cleaner again. And here they are, my two new 16B slots. The color doesn't exactly match, but who cares? So now let's try it. I put my bridge card and a VGA card and the PC should be able to pick it up and display straight to my monitor instead of going through the standard Amiga UI. Let's switch it on and suspense. Yes, it works. So now that we have done that, I would love to go through a second part where I want to deep dive a little bit more into this ISA bus. The, the ISA bus has a huge legacy even today. So that's going to be interesting to follow all their, the evolutions of this uh, ISA bus, but also where it comes from originally and uh, where we can actually find today still traces of this uh, very uh, bus that standardized the PC and eventually killed the Amiga that we uh, touch today. So please subscribe and, uh, and stay, we stay in touch for the second part uh, that I will publish soon.